Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more interesting stories like these. Now, let's get into today's story video. I found out at 2 a.m. New Year's Day that my wife was having an affair. She kept going for another eight months. <laughs> Male 28. When I was 21, I had my first GF, and she was the first person I slept with. I adored her, and after a 6.5-year romance, we got engaged, married, and moved in together. I became skeptical of her and one of her co-workers who was excessively attached to her. There were several red signals that I overlooked since this lady was the love of my life and my wife. Why would she do something so heinous? However, when additional red flags arose, the suspicions grew. I addressed her about these issues, such as Tim and her frequently texting. I noticed several messages from him to her with rows of love emojis, and how she would always choose going places with him over me, even when I expressly requested if we, myself and her, could go together. She brought him to a bird park that I like visiting. She had him stay for one night while I was gone, and when I returned, the bedsheets were in the washing machine. I'd had enough of her being away from me on New Year's Eve, as if I were a horrible man or had done something wrong. I seized her phone and saw her text with him from that night, when they were professing how much they loved one another. Obviously, I was devastated but stupid me. I tried to save our relationship. I discovered they had been s asterisk zing each other a few weeks later as well, and after a heated conversation, she pledged to change. I was duped. They carried on until August, when I discovered them again. Prior to that, there had been instances where she was purposefully distant to me, and lo and behold, it was because she was doing things with him. Suspicion crept up again as she went to the gym three four times a week, but only had one gym wear in the wash by the end of it, and she never seemed tired or her fitness changed. When I discovered out she had named a star after him on his birthday, which was just a week or two before mine, I wanted a divorce. I'd had enough. She lied to friends and relatives about what had transpired, claiming that we had just grown apart and desired different things. I react by posting everything on Facebook, including her admissions for the other person, the naming the star purchase and images of them on excursions I had no idea about. I'll confess that wasn't my greatest moment, and it was probably not fair either. After the divorce, I said that I would never hear or talk to her again. This was roughly two years ago, at the time of writing, and she has messaged me twice since then, both times I have utterly ignored. But I maintain the proof of what she did in case she attempts anything else. To be honest, my first meaningful relationship was a roller coaster ride. Four months later, four days before Christmas, I lost my job and my home and returned to my mother's. After a few years, I'm back on my feet with a new job, searching for a new home and getting back into karate, where I'm now in a kata squad and in contact with many old friends. Stuffer, I'm much happy now. Story 2. My now wife cheated less than a month into us dating. How do I move past this? I try to keep it brief so as not to bore you all with too much information, but please accept my apologies for the length. After two years of dating, I, 33 years old, married my wife, 32 years old. To recap our connection, we knew of one other via my sister, and our families had long been friends, but we were never officially acquainted. However, we subsequently connected on social media and began conversing. After a few weeks of conversing, I purchased her a plane ticket, since we lived in separate locations, so we could finally meet, and we made our relationship official during her visit. We got engaged a year later and married 1.5 years later. We had been dating for around 2.5 years before getting married. We'd been married for a little over a month at this point, and I was scrolling through my phone for a meme I'd given to her. A while before. I couldn't locate it, so I went to check her phone. I didn't want to wake her up since she was sleeping on the sofa. I knew her password since I'd seen her input it a few times before and figured it wouldn't be too difficult to look at her WhatsApp pics, because that's how I sent the meme. For the record, she often searches through the photographs on my phone, which I don't mind since she's my wife and girlfriend at the time, and I have nothing to hide. Anyway, while I was looking through her photos, I came upon a D asterisk CK picture in her album. My heart sunk instantly. I'd previously been cheated on by a former girlfriend, and I had discovered a D asterisk CK image on her phone, so I knew the signs. Naturally, I wanted to find out who took the photo, so I began browsing through her WhatsApp messages. Let me be the first to admit that I'm not proud of what I did, but I know from experience that merely inquiring about the photo won't get you the truth. And that was the truth that I saw it. 
Initially, I couldn't locate anything after doing a thorough search. Then I came across her conversation with her closest friend, in which she mentions a man we'll name Mark. She has never mentioned Mark to me before, although I am familiar with the most of her pals, at least by name. She then tells her buddy that she had unprotected with Mark and that she had just discovered, after they had, that Mark had gotten another female pregnant. The message was sent less than a month after we started dating exclusively. As I read on, I discovered that she had a connection with Mark before I came to the scene, and she would go on dates with him. He'd send her money and they'd speak about everything and everything. According to what I've read, this persisted throughout our relationship and even after I proposed to her. The thing that surprised me the most was that we were supposed to move in together only a few days earlier. She got a job in my city about six months before our wedding. She met him on a date and told a pal, everything in me wants to have with Mark. This obviously made me feel ill. I couldn't believe it, and it was impossible for me to focus on anything. My soul felt like it had been smashed into a million pieces. Despite this, I decided to spend a few days to figure out what I was going to do about what I discovered. I couldn't face her without revealing that I not only knew her password, but had also gone through her phone, all without her knowledge. I snapped a few screenshots while reading and decided to confess what I had done and face her. I persuaded myself that if trust was going to be shattered, it should be broken in both directions. So I took her down one evening and told her what I had discovered. She was angry at first because I had gone through her phone, but her focus immediately shifted to the D asterisk CK picture. She first said it was nothing and that he was simply a random person. I then informed her that I had learned about Mark from reading her chats with her closest friend. She ultimately admitted to everything I read after some back and forth. She said they only had once after we were exclusive, which I doubt, and that he meant nothing to her. I also discovered that Mark is married with children and that she had a pregnancy scare weeks before meeting me, which would have made him the father. We spoke about it for a long time, and she was in tears, apologizing for what she had done. We agreed that it would take some time, but that we could move on from this. She utterly ignored me the following day. I inquired as to how she was feeling and if she wanted to speak with me. Most of the time, she didn't respond or said, I have nothing to say. I found out that she was furious at me for going through her phone, which I can understand, but what was more revealing was that she never found out how I felt. She never inquired as to how I was doing or whether I was all right. I began to wonder who cheated on whom here. We had another lengthy discussion the next day and decided that this was not good for our relationship so we resolved to move on. My mind has been racing with questions ever since. I kept wondering why she felt the need to maintain her friendship with Mark. Why wasn't it enough for her? I made my intentions known to her and followed it up with action. Proposal plus marriage. Is she head over heels in love with Mark? She insists she isn't, but I'm not sure how you can go on like that with someone you don't care about. Two years later, she's saying things like, everything in me wants to have with Mark. The second issue is that it has caused me to doubt everything. When we have gotten married if she had informed me she cheated so soon into our relationship? Is she with me because Mark was unavailable and I was the best alternative? Is she really as in love with me as she claims? Worst of all, things that were never a problem before are now. As an example, we were at a party with some friends, people we regularly hang out with, and she needed some beverages and snacks, so she asked one of our male friends to drive her to the store. It wouldn't have mattered if this had happened before, but now it makes me very envious and worried. Why didn't she ask me first whether she could take her? What exactly is going on between the two of them? I find myself keeping track of the time to see how long they've been gone alone together and how they look when they returned. It irritates me. I despise thinking in this manner. I despise who I've become as a result of my dishonesty. The distrust I now feel for her. It isn't me, and it isn't who I want to be. Someone someone tell me how I can trust her again. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to go forward? Thank you to anybody reads this.